If you see this Wi-Fi network, are you going to join in? Well, you should, because HackerLoy is a trusted guy and is such a cool person to hang out with. You should join his Wi-Fi network the moment you see it. However, anyone else's Wi-Fi network, I would really discourage you from joining any of them. And this is what will happen if you join those free Wi-Fi network. Let's take a look right now. So right in front of us, we have Kong Linux running. And what I can do now is go ahead and open up terminal. All right, and this is the hacker's device. So we're in Kong Linux, this is a hacker's box, and they perhaps have created some fake Wi-Fi network and you're now joined in into the fake Wi-Fi network. And this is what will happen, okay? The first thing that they will do is that they will go ahead and enter, of course, IP ADDR to find out your IP address and be able to understand what kind of network are they running on. As you can see here, we have the hacker's IP address is 192. 168.0.182/24. Okay, so what they would do next is they will enter NMAP, all right, to scan the entire network for any new devices they're joining in. And very quickly, they'll be able to uncover, okay, all these devices that are currently inside the Wi-Fi network. And in fact, you should run this too in your own home Wi-Fi network to discover what devices are there that should not be there in your home network. Okay, I really encourage you to do just that right now. So what you can see here, and this is an IP address that we are going to be targeting, 192.168.0.109. So let's go ahead and do a much more comprehensive scan to uncover the device, to see what kind of device is it that has joined our network, okay? Is it a computer? Is it a mobile device? Whatever the case is, we want to hack into that device as quickly as we can. So the first thing you can do is enter MMAP, followed by dash S, capital V, 192.168.0.109. So this is the target IP address that we going after. So let's go ahead and hit enter on that. And this will begin a comprehensive scan into the device to uncover all the services that are running inside the device, meaning we're finding openings where we can jump right through and gain complete access into the entire computer system. And in this case, I've already prepared this device for you so that we can find out all those shared files, folders inside the device. So comprehensive scan can take some time, particularly if there are very interesting ports that can be opened up, like what is happening here. So let's go grab a cup of coffee and come back once the scan is complete. So we've completed a scan now, and there's something really interesting about this service over here. As you can see, okay, we got a following. So this is the following one service unrecognized despite returning data, all right? And this is a technology called port knocking, and we'll be uncovering this a little more in future tutorials. So definitely want to turn on notification, all right, for this YouTube channel so that you can be kept abreast of all these latest article hacking tutorials, all right? So back to the tutorial here, okay? So in this case, we're looking at port 139, Samba SMBD, all right? And likewise, on port 445, we also have Samba SMBD. So this are services that allow a computer device or even a mobile device to share files across the network. And this is something really, really interesting. And the other interesting part about it is that imagine if you join a free Wi-Fi network and you want to uncover all the services, devices, whether they have enabled all this free sharing, you definitely want to be able to check them out as quickly as you can using this technique right here. And likewise, you definitely want to ensure that your devices are not sharing any of these files and folders freely out onto anyone who joins into your Wi-Fi network. So what we need to do now let's go ahead and launch Metasploit. So enter MSF console. All right, hit enter on that. So this will start up our Metasploit framework console. And what you want to do next, enter search, sumbar, sim link, hit enter on that. And we have one particular module here. So enter use auxiliary admin SMB, all right, sumbar, sim link, traversal, hit enter on that, enter show options. Okay, and set the R host for the target IP address that we're going after, 192.168.0.109. All right, and set SMB share, okay, as TMP. And now go ahead and hit enter for exploit in three, two, one, hit enter on that. Oh no, we got an error. What's going on here? Auxiliary fail. Error code, the server responded with error. Status object name collision. The reason why this is happening is because we have already hacked into the device earlier. And you can reuse this again, okay? And you'll be able to run it successfully in the device. So how can we ascertain that we have hacked into the computer? Go ahead and open up, all right, the folder. Click open folder. And once you're here, what I want you to do is to go ahead and click under browse network, okay? And you can see here, we got the following network, followed by colon, slash, slash, slash. So what I want you to do now is to go ahead and change this SMB, okay? And now what I want you to do is enter 192.168, okay? Dot zero dot one zero nine. All right, and then followed by slash TMP, hit enter on that, and it'll ask you to log in. So what we can do now is select, say, anonymous, all right, as connect as, and we have everything else as default, and then go ahead and click connect. And that's it. We are in. Double click under root FS, 
we can see every single file and folder inside the device as quickly as that we have hacked into the computer. Let me know what you found in your home network. Okay? And remember, like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest article hacking tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.